Well, hello there again. Welcome to the Psych for Sore Eyes. Glad you showed up. This, uh, this video is going to be a little different, I guess, than my normal videos. But there's a story to that. Uh, a few, uh, a couple weeks ago, I guess it was, I was again digging around in a closet and I came across some old VHS uh, video recordings that I'd made, <coughs> excuse me, that I'd made uh, back in the 1990s, late, late 1980s, early 1990s. And so I thought, what the heck? So I put them on a VCR we have at our house and I played a few. Boy, did they bring back a lot of memories uh, from those days. That was just, just after we moved to Alaska in 1986. And I recorded a lot of stuff back then. And so I, I got to thinking, well, I think I still have that camera that I recorded this on. Maybe I should go find that. So I went back into another closet and looked around and yeah, there's, there's my case with the camera. And so I opened it up and, and looked at it. This is the camera right here. This, this beauty right here is what I used to record videos on. It's the uh, Olympus uh, VXSV. I'm sorry, the Olympus VX S405 uh, camera, big thing, big camera. It had a lot of features. It was top of the line back in those days. Uh, yeah, this was, I guess, if not a pro camera, it was a, a minimum of a semi-pro camera. It had a lot of things going for it. And I learned to use it pretty good, actually. So. Uh, and it's in, man, it's in good shape. I, I, I think I put it away about probably around 2000, right around there, somewhere when I started doing digital. Uh, but I put it in its case. I have the owner's manual, the whole works, all the cables and everything. And, and this thing, it's, it's pretty. It's a nice camera. It's, I had a little crack right here in this cupboard that holds the, uh, the cassette, and I think I closed it on a cable or something at one time. Anyway, I took some super glue and, and uh, fixed that. That's the only thing wrong with it. It is also a VCR, so I can, besides record uh, videos with this, I can also play them back on a TV screen. So, let me show you close here. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's it's a nice it's a nice camera. If you look on the internet, you'll see a lot of uh, information about it. It's not worth a whole lot at this point, but it's still a nice camera. It's got a nice lens. This uh, the viewfinder, you know, goes points back like that, and then to use it. Uh, without a tripod, you just put it on your shoulder and you look right through the right through the eyepiece. It's a black and white image that you see. And yeah, I brought back a lot of memories. I tried the battery, but of course it's it's dead. I can't get it work. I can't. It won't charge or anything. But it does have a cable that I can run it off. Uh, uh, a cable and an adapter that I can just plug it in to 120 and it, it runs just fine. Um, and I, I did have played, like I said, I, I, I had those VHS tapes and so I tried playing a few through here and it played well. And I tried taping and it, it, it played, it taped pretty good. So that got me to thinking. So I, I, I dug out some of those tapes again and put them uh, on, you know, on inside and 
And I thought, you know, I'm going to look at a few of these and, and, and see what I can do. And then a thought came to me that, you know, why don't you play those back using that camera and play them back on a, uh, a TV screen like this. And, and so I, I had this old Sylvania, Sylvania uh, monitor, or TV actually, that we were never using. So I hooked it up, I wired it, you know, I got the cables all from the camera to the TV, set it up in here just like you see here. And then I, I found, today I found a, a, a clip, a video clip that I made in 1990. And so I played it from the camera to the screen, and then I taped it with my camera that you're seeing me with, the Canon uh, HF G20, I believe it is. It's a nice video camera. And I recorded right directly off the monitor with, that, with my Canon camera. It took me uh, quite a bit of time to get everything lined up and figured out. And I still have a little red banding in the, in the film here, uh, you know, that I record on the camera. But it works. I can get, there's adapters I can get to just play with right directly. I can put it on a SD card. And I might have to do that because I got a lot of memories on those, on those uh, tapes. So I, I, I today I recorded this about I don't know eight ten minutes of a scene I took uh, some scenes I took in 1990 when I was up hunting uh, moose hunting. Uh, I don't moose hunt any longer, but back then. We, you know, we had fun honey, my son and I and his friends. And so this video is me recording my son and one of his friends as they're uh, getting ready to backpack into a honey, they're gonna camp overnight. And it, it's kind of fun to watch. Uh, you gotta remember this is 1990 and things were a lot different back then, a whole lot different than they are today. And that kind of, watching this video kind of brought that to light to me that it is totally different today. It's, it's a sad thing, actually. But anyway, so I recorded these clips right off the camera. I haven't done any editing, and it's just right as it is on the videotape that's in that camera right now. And so I'm gonna play this for you, and, and I want you to remember that uh, any any editing there's uh, there's wipes and transitions in this uh, in this little clip and they were all done in camera as I was filming which is one of the features I liked about this and the sound is a little tinny probably because where I'm at isn't a good place to record sound but anyway it's interesting and I hope you enjoy watching it. Uh, and and you got to remember the quality is not, uh, the VHS quality is not anything like we got today with digital. So anyway, I'm going to play this for you and I hope you enjoy it. And please leave a comment if you have a comment to say or a like. I appreciate it all. And... Just remember, like I said, this isn't going to be a high quality uh, production at all. It's just, I think, fun to watch. So anyway, thanks for dropping by again, and uh, let's look at this movie. Thanks a lot. It's the last week of moose season, 1990. There goes Chad walking across the river. Oh, no, he's not. He decided he'd change his mind. That's pretty cold water, right, Chad? Yeah, I got a problem here. <laughs> Go for it, Chad. <laughs> Will he make it? He's going the wrong way, Jace. Yeah. 
water is probably 33 degrees right there. September 7th. The boys are going to spend the night back in the woods. Get up early in the morning and see if they can spot a moose. Looks like he made it. Jason getting ready. Putting on his pack. Sun's getting pretty low in the west. Jason, he's wearing waders tonight. Not a bad idea, except for the right one leaks real bad. Nice jeans he's got on tonight. Chad's 
comes to finishing touches on his pack of his life. He had to walk back in about 500 yards in the brush. Back up in that area. Real brushy. Real brushy. This is where Jason saw a young bull moose three nights ago. We've been back here several times since and haven't yet seen another one. But we're going to give her one last try this weekend. Well, Jason, what do you think your chances are of getting a moose this weekend? Definite. Definite? When are you going to get him? Huh? When are you going to get him? As soon as possible. Tonight? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be ready to get him tonight. I kind of want to enjoy my weekend. You don't think you would if you got a moose tonight, huh? Well, I'd enjoy it, but I kind of like the camping idea, too. That's your water supply for the weekend? No, I'll maybe use some water. Hey, that's a good idea. And then you can fill up when you come by our camp sometime. That's enough. <laughs> Think John will do any good? Yep. We're both going to get one. Sorry. That'd be a miracle. Huh? That'd be a miracle, wouldn't it? Snack ram in here, we got some of that. We're just gonna eat snack ram tonight. Are you gonna wake up in the morning? Or are you gonna even sleep tonight? I just tell myself, you know, we're good. You'll be out before dark, before light in the morning, huh? Yep. Your scope's still far? I don't know. Uh, just a little bit around the edges. Well, you better use your open sights, sir. Don't point that rifle this way. Yeah. <laughs> Any advice for the would-be moose hunters who might be watching this film someday? Never believe anything. Such as? If something will go wrong, it will go wrong. Such as? You may think your scope is right on. <laughs> Could be a mistake. Yeah. You know that from experience, huh? How does it feel to see a bull moose and not be able to shoot him? Sucks. Plenty of them stores. <laughs> Here he goes. Off after the moose. Whoa. 
Said he wasn't going to come across the bare feet anymore. Yeah.